Greetings. Welcome to EDTV News Channel, the People's Channel. In the support, we have a few stories for talk about. Coming out of the United States, Toronto, Canada, and Jamaica. Stay tuned for the full reports. Blessings to all subscribers and viewers. If you're here for the first time, you can support the channel by like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. So we'll start off with a very sad news coming out of Toronto, Canada, where a 64-year-old Jamaican-born school teacher was allegedly taken out by her husband in Vaughan in Ontario, Canada on Wednesday. The deceased is Estella Wheeler, a grade 7 and 8 teacher at the Afrocentric Alternative School in North York, Toronto. Her husband, 68-year-old Trevor Wheeler, has since been charged with second-degree dropout, Canadian media outlet City News reported. Neighbors told reporters that the couple moved from Jamaica and resided in the community for about 15 years. Trevor reportedly ran a scrap metal company in the country, while Estella taught at the North York Bay School for more than seven years. It was reported that about 12.25 a.m. on Wednesday, officers attached to the York Regional Police were summoned to the semi-detached home in Vaughan where the couple live. On their arrival, Estella was seen suffering from serious injuries. Despite medical attention given to her at the scene, she later succumbed to her injuries there. Trevor was arrested at home and was subsequently charged relative to his wife drop out. While some reports say Estella was reportedly juke up and drop out, the York Regional Police have not officially confirmed the perceived cause of drop out. A postmortem examination is scheduled to be conducted in the coming days. Additionally, the police did not provide information on whether other persons were at the house at the time of the incident. Neighbors were shocked by the tragic developments as they described Estella as having been a friendly, kind, and a beautiful woman. They also remembered her for her singing while she hung out laundry in the backyard. Trevor was said to be more outgoing. Principal of the Afrocentric Alternative School, Hugh Reynolds, described Estella as a well-known dedicated team member who cared for all of her students. In a letter to parents on Wednesday, Reynolds said Estella developed strong relationships with students and staff during her time at the educational institution. He said she will remember it as an incredible, kind, and giving person. Very, very sad story, people. Condolences goes out to Estella Wheeler family. Now, people, we'll move on. Where a Jamaican man wanted in Florida for a job out, arrested in Pennsylvania. So we'll get into the report. A Jamaican national who was on the run after fatally shooting a man in Daytona Beach, Florida, was arrested in Pennsylvania on Tuesday. Danita Simpson, 25, was wanted on first-degree job out and aggravated battery charges. He is accused of taking out 24-year-old Daniel Williams in September last year during a confrontation over a woman. Police say Simpson was also wanted for beating his pregnant girlfriend with a broomstick. It is reported that the man had a history of confrontations because Simpson was in a relationship with the mother of Williams' children. On September 10, witnesses told police that Simpson and Williams got into a fight outside an apartment complex and both fell to the ground. Simpson then got up, pulled out a gun, and shot Williams twice. Now, people, we are moving on. This time to Jamaica, where reputed gangster Tesha Miller dragged to court after refusing to attend. So we'll get into the report. 
the hearing of the accused members of the Tesha Miller faction of the St. Catherine B.S. Klansman Gang on Thursday was delayed for over two hours after Miller refused to be present at court and had to be pried from the Tower Street Correctional Facility by members of the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Unit, CTAC. Miller, clad in a white t-shirt and red shorts pants, sauntered into courtroom number one of the Supreme Court in downtown Kingston after all his co-accused were already seated and promptly took his seat at the back of the main dock before stubbornly refusing to move to the seat reserved for him in the front. Attorney for Miller, John Clark, addressing Supreme Court Judge Justice Vinnie Graham Allen after the hearing got underway, said his client had been used for a punching bag and would require medical attention. Justice Graham Allen, in issuing a formal order for Miller to receive medical attention, said she would address the accused man complain in another hearing. Miller, the court heard, had refused to leave the facility despite the fact that a writ of habeas corpus had been issued for him to appear with the 22 accused. Miller is before the court charged under the anti-gang legislation for leadership of the organization while his co-accused are to answer to membership charges. More details to come. Now, people, we are moving on. Now, and this is just a very sad story for, say, another farmer dropout, people. So we are getting into the report. 60-year-old farmer found dropout in Sentan, son held as suspect. The police in Sentan are probing the dropout of Jennifer Tucker, a 60-year-old farmer from Nine Mile District in Sentan, who was found dropout inside her home on Wednesday. It was reported that about 6 p.m., Tucker was on her farm when Sims Run in Nine Miles District when she got a call which led her to her going inside the home to assist her son. Not seeing her return, calls were made to her cell phone. After those calls went unanswered, a subsequent check was made at the house which sits on the same property as the farm. The farmer's lifeless body was observed on the floor with blood oozing from nostril and mouth. The son seen fleeing from the premises where, where the body was located. An alarm was sounded and the son was chased by resident who stoned and chopped him all over his body. He was treated for injuries at the Alexandra Hospital. Very, very sad story, people, for say. A son allegedly take out his own mother. You know what I'm saying? 60 years old. Very, very sad story. Please leave your comments in the comment section and tell me what to think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good. Blessings. <laughs>